Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. And today I'm going to go ahead and build the Bandai Gundam Astra Red Frame Inversion. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for all notifications, and please give me a thumbs up. Now I did an re open box review on this earlier, so you can find that in a link I put above on the top right there. And so without wasting any more time, I'm going to go ahead and take you through uh, some of the basic steps in building this. And we're going to build this and show you the final product. So let's get started. And welcome back. I'm going to take these parts out and get started, get the instructions out here. And get rolling on this. And before I begin, some of the tools that are recommended for this. Of course, you're going to need some good high quality uh, sprue cutters. And these are Tamiya brand. Uh, Gundam also uh, makes their own brand of these. And Possibly you might need some a good set of tweezers too and once again these are from Tamiya and they're high quality indeed and a good nice hobby knife or exacto blade make sure you put a brand new blade in there and that will help you out a lot and of course a couple of sanding sponges these are from ultimate model modelers products out of the UK this is the thinny buffers and these are very nice for getting into small areas and that's all we need for that and then of course we have the uh, triple pack of sanders and they have different grits on each side there so let's get started and the first call out in the instructions is uh, part 22 and 24 and I'm just going to cut these off to show you what I do with this I'm not going to do this through the whole build series here so I I'm careful that I don't cut it too close. I can always cut it off a little bit closer later um, just so I can get it to get it off the sprue. And this is the PC sprue. They're calling for number ones to come off here. And we got to get two number ones off. These are the poly type components. And now that I have it off, I go ahead and trim it. And there's a little bit of under, under, under gating going on here. That's not a problem. We'll trim the under gates off. And Bandai is no, known for undergating most of their parts, which is nice because if they're chrome plated, you're not going to damage any of the chrome that's exposed. And we put in one of our poly ca caps according to the instructions, just like that. And then we take our other poly caps and looks like the flat side goes towards the top like that you do the same on the other side Now 
next to it. Put this poly cap on top and make sure the flange is on the bottom there and you have that hole sticking out. That's going to go on right just like that. And it looks like it inserts just like that. And just like that. Everything squeezes together. That looks good there. And lastly, we get this face to go on. That looks good. And this one right here, it's a little hard to understand in the instructions, but this part right here inserts in there just like that. And then this, the larger part on top, inserts just like that. Now that I have these two assemblies together, this simply will snap into that torso part here. There you go. That looks good there. Next, the instructions tell us to apply a couple of the decals. So this is number 19. good there. Step two. For step two I had to apply a tiny decal right here. That looks good. And another decal goes on the back. Where we'll we put that one on the front. And that completes step one, which was the body. I was wrong, that was not the head that we were assembling. Step two, we'll be assembling the head. So for step one, I assembled the body, and that was a lot of fun to do. And for step two, I'll start assembling the head. So step two, this is as far as I've gotten so far. Um, they do identify the parts that have undergates, and it's important that you do cut off the undergate, otherwise the part won't go together very well. And just to show you something, for example, um, if you look at this part here, you can see the attachment points are real fine and real small. Those don't have the undergates. Okay. If they're a little bit larger, then they will have the, the undergate. So right here you can see an undergate and you'll need to cut that off. See how it runs under the part? That's why they call it an undergate. So you make sure, now the instructions will all point it out that there's an undergate there and you need to remove it. Assembling the head, I have a little bit of flash here. and I couldn't quite get it all cut off with the X-Acto blade. So I'm going to take my skinny stick and I'm going to sand it down a little bit. And then I'm going to polish it. And I should be able to weather it and it will hide it. And I pretty much got rid of it on the other side too. Looks good. And there's the eyes. Looks great. And to finish up with the head, we'll put the, the horn on. 
and it had an under gate I had to take off also. There he is. So that's what's completed so far is the head and the, the body. Now we'll work on the arms. And the right arm is finished. We actually get a choice of two different hands. Combination of stickers and gray parts. And here's the other hand. Left arm is complete. And it was fun assembling that. The assembly was very similar to the right arm. I just used a different hand for this one. And of course there's a spare hand on that. I'll bring over the the right arm. So we have left arm here and the right arm there. That brought us all the way up through step four. Now this is step five where we'll assemble the head and the arms on the body and simply press fit all these on here. Remember uh, this is my first time building a Gundam kit so it's quite enjoyable actually. And there that is. That is cool. Talk about detail. All right, we'll move on to building the legs. I'll be right back. To begin assembling the right leg, I'm actually working on the foot and that simply snaps together here. Kind of match it up like that. That's the bottom of the foot there. And then we put the top of the foot down on top of that. And of course I put one of the poly caps in there in the center. And that's good there. I'm still working on the leg and we have some major assemblies that go together here. So um, I got this part here of the leg and this upper part that's been built and this simply goes into that hole there. And that's the first thing that gets done. And then the second thing is this other assembly that we've uh, assembled earlier. And that's going to slide into uh, the top here. There we go. Takes a little bit of coaxing, and I'm learning how to do this, so you can see how that kind of fits in there. Okay, so once we have that together, then we have this other part here that kind of slides in. into that crevice there. And then we can put our cover on. And everything should snap together here. That looks good. Wow. The engineering on this is pretty remarkable, I think. Fantastic stuff there. Here's a fully assembled right leg. And it does articulate. Really cool. Now I'm working on the left leg, same as before. We're going to insert these parts and put all these together here. 
and select the knee joint there. Now, it's easy to, to install the next part here. You want to kind of line it up with uh, the crevice. It's opened up there. I have it turned around wrong. There we go. And kind of see how that lines up. And then you can squeeze it together like that. And then the next one will be on the other side, just like that. And then we can put the cover on. The other side of the leg can go down. And that's how that works. Looks good. And the last part in assembling the leg is we install the upper joint. And this is the left leg and then the foot. There it is. We'll bring over the other leg. And we have the left and right legs completed. Now in step seven, I work on the waist and we have to insert this poly cap a certain way. The round part facing in the up direction, just like that. And then take the gray part and that goes just like that. Now we assemble the legs to the waist. Goes there and there. And now we assemble the rest of the body. And it's really cool. I said I've never built one like this before, and I'm just amazed at uh, how everything goes together and moves and articulates. Really cool. Next, these items go in here. You want to make sure that the openings are towards the side. Next, we'll install these and make sure that they are keyed correctly. There's a little keyway there and it lines up with that. There we go. Same thing with that keyway, lines up with that. This goes down on top of that.
and this locks it in. Make sure the hole is on the outside. Hole on the bottom. And here's all the weapons and spare parts. So they do give you quite a bit with this kit. I enjoyed building it uh, thoroughly. Very nice. And these were cool to build and uh, apply the decals to. I enjoyed it a whole lot. And here's the completed Gundam. I think uh, He's very cool. He's a lot smaller than what I thought he would be, but this is 1144 scale and uh, definitely a very cool subject. This is the first Gundam I've ever built. And I'll be back after I do a little bit of weathering and some highlighting of the panel lines. Let's look at the back side of him. And here's the back side. Very cool. Lots of detail here. Side shot here.
Look at the detail in the legs. And the other side. And close up of the head, torso, all the way down to the feet. And here is one of the poses. Super cool. And that completes this build of the Gundam Astray Red Frame Inversion. Thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And reach down there and hit the bell and give me a thumbs up. Happy modeling everybody and take care.